Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to get a basic overview of Einstein bot to understand where is what and what is what exactly. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So first, even before using Einstein bot, first we have to search Einstein in the quick find. Go to the Einstein bots. And you need to enable the Einstein bot so that you are you will be able to create your own bots and do whatever you want to right so if you see I have enabled the Einstein bot so now once that is done you can go ahead and create your new bot so let's click on create a new bot so there are two types of the bots standard bots and enhanced bots okay in enhanced bot you can much more control the flow using the uh, or omni-channel flow, but we are going to go through it what exactly the enhanced bot and standard bot is, is in uh, in the upcoming videos But right now just select the standard bot And we are going to start it from the scratch So there are different types of the templates if you go even to a flow record trigger flow screen flow There are different types of the templates which you can build use the pre-build flow But right now I don't want to do that. I'm going to use a start from scratch Because I want to build the bot from the scratch itself next what is the name of your bot let's name it as jarvis <coughs> so the name of my bot is jarvis and the language that it prefers is english next is the welcome message so welcome message is nothing but the start message uh, so whenever someone is going to go to my bot okay first of all he's going to get greet greeted with hi i'm jarvis a digital assistant something like that and if you want you can also provide them the menu like menu item one menu item two like for an example my check my order report a problem find a product you can add all this kind of stuff at the start itself but right now i'm just going to add the welcome message itself let's click on next uh just uh, ignore it for now let's click on next and let's click on proceed so our bot is ready so right now okay the bot is ready okay fine the bot is ready <coughs> at the left side defines the dialogue okay there are welcome dialog main menu transfer to an agent end chat this defines the flow how the uh, the bot is going to interact right so the first start at the start itself okay whenever someone is going to click on the bot okay they are going to land on this welcome page itself so in the welcome page if i click on it i can do it on granular level that it's going to say hi i'm jarvis a digital assistant you can even change it if you want to but right now it's going to just send the message hi i'm jarvis a digital assistant and in the next step we are starting another dialogue Dialogues are nothing but the flow like we are going to understand dialogue very precisely but dialogues are nothing but the flow in which you want to uh, uh, execute your bot okay so main menu is another dialogue okay this is nothing but a separate canvas in which you can do separate kind of stuff different kinds of the stuff <coughs> but what you want is as soon as the some uh, our digital assistant is going to say hi i'm jarvis a digital assistant it's going to go to the main menu because it next steps defines the main menu but if you want you can even wait for the customer's input okay and based on the input you can do different kinds of stuff you can even show them a menu if you want to so you can create a different types of the dialogues and in that dialogue you can show the menu okay you can start a completely new different dialogue okay so main menu is one of the dialogue transfer to an agent is a dialogue end chat is a dialogue but if you want you can also create your own new dialogue so this is test dialogue right so you can create a dialogue okay you can uh, say if you see so what's going to happen is as soon as the flow uh, the flow is going to start it with the welcome message it's going to send the message and then it's going to get redirected to this is a test dialogue okay automatically it is going to get redirected to a test dialogue so if you are moving from one dialogue to another please save your einstein bot okay if you do not save it your changes will be lost so right now uh, first it is going to go to the welcome message next step it's going to go to the this is test dialogue Th that is this dialogue test dialogue in this test dialogue i can do different set of the actions also you can transfer the dialogue to the completely to a new agent okay so it's going to send the message and it's going to transfer it to an agent if you want to okay next let's go to the main menu so if you previously remember from the main uh, welcome is going to go to the main menu now inside the main menu is a separate set of canvas you can do multiple things you can even show a message in this message hi welcome to 
main menu if you want to you can also show this is just a simple message okay so what's going to happen is welcome first of all it's going to send the welcome message and then it's going to get redirected to the main menu inside the main menu main menu hi welcome to main menu and then it's again going to wait for the next <coughs> customer input again you can also transfer the chat to a particular uh, another dialog okay you can start another dialog or you can transfer the chat to an agent or do whatever you want to right so uh, let's say after the main menu i want to ask a particular question so you can also ask a question you can just go to this you can just hover over in the between and you can find a plus icon where you can add different kinds of the steps so you can ask a question dynamic question static question you can pass over the control completely to the apex or an external service or to a flow flow must be an auto launch flow so yeah you can completely create a new dialog a rule based dialog okay so you can uh, create a rule and based on that rule you can transfer the chat to the dialog okay or something like that so let's consider this way so you can add a condition over here and based on the condition you can transfer the overall control to the next dialog so based on let's say you have added some kind of condition this is nothing but similar to that of the decisions inside the flows <coughs> So if the decision is satisfied, then it's going to go to the this is test dialog. If it is not, it's going to go to the next step, which will which is going to show a menu again, which is nothing but hi welcome to main menu or something like that. Now next, let's come to the variable. Now in uh, Einstein bots, there are three types of the variables. One is nothing but a context variable. Next is a system variable, and next is a custom variable. So system variables are nothing but the time of your uh, computer or something like that, or the company information or the licenses available. This is nothing but a system variable controls, which is very very much. If you go to the <coughs> uh, the formula fields, you can find this system variable like uh, date time. Uh, date time dot now this is nothing but a system variable which brings the information about the particular system that you are on working on next is a context variable okay system variable i'm just going to define it as current time something like that current time or time zone or something like that right systems information next is a context information context variable stores like uh, for an example it stores the message that has been sent by the current user or the current user's information in that particular context what kind of information uh, we can get that can be like for an example a message that has been sent by the end user the phone number that has been sent by the end user the time or not the time uh, or the user id of that particular user that currently has logged in into this uh, logged in into the einstein bot or uh, trying to chat to the einstein bot you can get it using context variable so context variable in simple terms get current end user info simple and custom variable is simply nothing but used to store data okay so if i go to this uh, variable okay if you see there are there is a context variable right there are system variables right and also if you want to you want you can create two types of the variable one is custom variable and one is context variable okay so you can create a custom variable just to store the data if you want to okay so these are the different types of the variables and this is how you can control the overall flow of your bot and if you want to you can also debug your bot using the by going to the performance so if you go to the performance and event logs your bot is going to <coughs> generate different types of the logs okay where you can find out what kind of error you are getting or why are you getting particular error just like the flows how we debug it okay and to get the complete information about the bot you can just go to the overview here you can get what kind of the name of your bot is what type of your bot is okay and when it is created what who has created it is and other kind of different kinds of things okay so this is what the overview of an einstein bot is this is how you can control the flow what these are the dialogues and uh, variables also we have gone through so this is what the overview of an einstein bot is in the next few videos we are going to actually use einstein bot to understand further and further and we are going to create a good einstein bot which is going to take over the control from digital engagement and completely chat on its own so if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel